I got it, guys. I got it. Hey, uh, Mr. Dinenza, right? You work here? Yeah, yeah. I've been here a lot. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like the co-host of the Patriot News. Have you heard of it? I have heard. Yeah, I heard you guys got canceled this year. We, uh, no, I, we kind of like viewership was down. Yeah, terrible yeah, feedback. Bit on that. Yeah, well, it's like tired. Isn't that why I'm here? And we took a break. Yeah. No, 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 no. You're here. Yeah. The audience yeah. demanded I come. Uh, they uh, demanded a reunion episode. Oh no, no. Smite! Smite! That's not true. Let's get Smite because he, right. you know, your boy, Mr. Smite. Yeah, right. you know, I know yeah. no one up. Good morning, Pamwood. It's your boy, Mr. Smite, and as always. What's up, everybody? Mr. Coon, name that movie. I don't. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know. You caught me way out of the guard. Is that it? Is that even in a movie? It's a movie. I don't know. Clatter with a chance of meatballs. Boom. I actually never saw that one. Never saw that one. Anyway, just like that movie is is a big Hollywood movie. Today is a big important day here at Penwood Middle School, and that is the final episode for this year of Patriot News. Yeah, isn't this Big like, day, but a sad day. It's not like a special, because we... It's, it's, it's the final special episode of Patriot News. Yeah, but news happens, like, regularly. This is like... This is huge. We took a this is, six-week break. Yeah, well... And we're back. We were reevaluating the platform. Okay. Yeah, we're so... To be gone again. That's right. Boom. Yes, but as even though it is the last episode of Patriot News, we do have some really awesome stuff that we're going to bring to you today, and the first thing that we were able to do was go around to this year's PBIS Carnival, which is a huge staple here at Penwood Middle School, and we were able to get around and talk to some of the students and staff at the Carnival and get some feedback on their experience. Lord, tell me you didn't hire the guy again to go around. I found the best on the street reporter money could buy. Roll it. people now? Not you. Roll it. I see an empty chair. You must know. No, you must. Oh, you are disqualified. You must go all the way around. Boy, I'll tell you guys, I haven't seen this in a long, long time. Here we have Wipeout in the person here at Penwood Middle School. If you watch, there have been a few players that just cannot make it across. Let's go inside and get a closer look. You can see here, contestants are jumping over a hot pile of lava to get on the other side of the bounce house. Let's take a closer look. He's thinking about it. He's weighing his options. Oh, he goes for the jump. He lands it. All right, guys, I'm here with one of our contestants in the wipeout. What's your name? Yesu Lee. Yesu Lee. And where are you from? Pe- Yaden, Penwood. I mean, Yaden, Pennsylvania. All right, good, good. Thank you. Now, now why did you want to play this? Because you're one of the best contestants I saw. Because I'm the best in the world. You're the best in the world. You heard it right here, folks. We kept the best in the world playing wipeout. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, the lines are long. We haven't seen lines like this since probably a year ago last year. The lines are very long here, and we are in America Ninja Warrior. Competition is strong. We expect some great results today. Vote for your favorite Ninja Warrior. All right, Mr. Santiago, it's a beautiful day out. Glad to be here, PBIS Fair. We're on this hunt to figure out what does PBIS mean. So what does that mean to you? Oh, man. Uh... Well, I guess I have to say, to me, it means probably better in summer. Okay. Everything's better in summer. We're here with two of our outstanding football watcher or teachers here in this. And we're still on the hunt to figure out what PBIS means. So what does PBIS stand for? Pencils better if sharpened. Okay. And is that your take? What's PBIS no. stand for? Peanut butter in sandwich. Peanut butter in sandwich. Okay. We're still on the hunt. That's right, right? No, that's it. Cut. That's it. That's definitely it. It's not even close. It's not even, it's not even close. They're not getting real. It's worse than I thought. Yeah. What is your name? Charlie Tong. Charlie, what grade are you in? Seven. Okay, Charlie, here's the big question. What does PBIS stand for? Penwood's Basic Intermediate School. Okay, thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Mr. Smith, who I think has finally cracked this nut and has figured out what... PBIS stands for. So please, sir, let me know. What does PBIS stand for? Yeah, it's a metaphor. It's pirates biting intelligent snakes. It's it's symbolic. Okay, so that's 
that's not actually happening here now, right? No, no, no. That's that's what a metaphor is all about. It's not, it's not literal. It's not meant to be taken literal. It's figurative. You got to think about it. Okay, so you're, as you're thinking, but it, it never happened in history. Because I know, I mean, when I tell them it's a metaphor, they're like, oh, but it, it did happen. Well, you, you're talking about pirates, right? And And intelligent snakes as in like evil and so when the pirates are biting the intelligent snakes they're doing positive things so you have to think a little more deeply i know you're a math teacher so okay okay you know the, the ela people we they get it so yeah because pirates is like two and snakes are three and it, it doesn't always make five it, i got you yeah, two plus two is not always four okay all right thank you all right, all right. they just making stuff up like uh, Putting I mean, words together? Silver lining, if they are just making stuff up, it's pretty creative. So, I mean, that's okay. That's a- the positive. A for effort. A for effort. Yeah. One. And now, Penwood, once again, as we wrap up this fantastic year here at Penwood Middle School, we revisit some of our favorite memories from this year's Patriot News. What's your favorite memory, Mr. Kuhn? I would say coming to Penwood, being part of this community, and uh, being hired on the news team. I mean, my salary really dropped once you guys hired me. Yeah, yeah. There is a, uh, you actually have to pay to have this job in, in year one. So, uh, but, yeah. Am I the best co-anchor you've had this month? I, I don't even know if you're the best co-anchor I've had today. But we appreciate your effort, A for effort, once again, and uh, you're a pleasure to have on the team. Thank you, thank you, thank you for thank you for the love. Three yes. out of four houses voted to yes. be the best co-anchor. Uh, that didn't happen. That didn't happen. Patriot News, Penwood Middle School's number one rated news program. What? This is Storm Vader. I am sorry, but Storm. Is no longer available for Don't your river. Your <sighs> I'm here with my boy, Mr. So Cheryl, the in the flesh. And some of you may why. not know this, but Mr. Cheryl is it's actually a Dallas Cowboys know, fan. I'm from the 215 Philly brand, but I'm a cowboy dude. You heard what I said. Wow, that. <laughs> I don't have any rhymes. What's up, guys? Mr. Cheryl. Bill Penn Williams, Mr. Coon. And we're out here in these Principal Hill Street. What's up? In his office. Have to you know about it. Mr. Vanner, what so was the most recent book that you read? And still Get out. I have not read that book. Who wrote that book? A, a lot of people don't know this, but Officer Hill was actually captain of the color guard team when he went to Penwood High School. Is that true, Officer Hill? That's actually untrue. I was actually a member of the choir at Penwood High School. All right, Penwood, I'm here with Mrs. Kemmerer. Uh, one of our brand new teachers, and we're very excited to have her. Mrs. Kemmerer, what exactly is it that you teach here? Physical education. Physical education, okay. So what got you into the world of physical education? Do you like to play chess and ping pong? Chess and ping pong, absolutely. Okay. If you're not smart enough to avoid being caught in lawsuits, you're not smart enough to be in middle school. That's a great question. Great okay, news. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty heavy. Be careful. Oh, 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 oh. That's alright. It's unpredictable. You heard it here first, folks. We out. Hey, what's up, Baptist boy, Mr. Smythe, with another segment of uh, Beat Our New Stand. And I'm here with principal, vice principal, Davis. Um, how's it going so far? So far, it's going great. Who do you think uh, is the most athletic teacher here at Family Middle School? Besides Mr. Smythe, we obviously know is number one. Mr. Keys, Mr. Smythe, you heard it here first. All right, Penwood, that's it for us here at Patriot News today and this year. Uh, we hope that you guys enjoyed the news this year. We thank you for supporting and watching the news. Uh, we hope that you continue to watch the news. That's right, it's on YouTube. So even if you go to the high school, you can still check out what's going on here at Penwood Middle School. Um, but yeah, thanks for your continued support and teachers too. Thank the teachers for all their support and showing the news and everything. You guys have been great. We love all of you. Mr. Coon, do you have anything to say before we sign off? Thank you very much. Thank you for all your love. That's right. We love you, Penwood.